The set edge function is specifically designed to allow you to find the edge of a workpiece. The set edge function can be used with either a manual edge finder or a 3D probe depending on what your machine is equipped with. If a 3D probe is used, this becomes an automatic measuring cycle. Today's example, we're going to use a manual edge finder. First, we must be in the jog screen and we must make sure that the edge finder is loaded into our spindle. Use your TSM function, as previously described, to select the appropriate tool. In our case, we need to create a new edge finder. So here I'm going to use the new function. And in my favorites library, you're going to find that there's an edge finder. By selecting OK, we'll build our edge finder tool. It's important to put the appropriate diameter of the edge finder because the cycle will use this in calculation. Once the edge finder is loaded, we can now progress to the set edge functionality. Use your measure workpiece button to access these applications. Now looking at your vertical soft key, you'll see that we have a full library of measuring edge functions. The set edge is the upper vertical soft key just below the calibrate probe. Select the set edge function and now we can come in and measure an edge. Once in set edge, first thing we want to do is select which axis we're going to measure. I can select either the X, the Y, or the Z axes. In our case, we're going to first measure the X. Once I've selected X, I now have to fill out the input screen. My first question is do I want to do a work offset measurement or just do a measure only? Measure only is great for using it for doing quick checks on a physical workpiece. The workpiece offset function allows me to write directly to the workpiece. Once selected, I need to choose the appropriate work coordinate system. This would automatically default to whatever is modally loaded or I can change it here. Next, I need to describe the direction the machine is going to be moving in as I manually jog it. Am I moving the machine to the positive or the negative direction during the measurement? In our case, we're finding the left side of our part, so I'm going to be moving in a plus direction. Finally, I need to decide what the edge is going to be once I find this location. This can be any number. However, this is going to be the true part measurement. The system will automatically take the radius of the tool into account. Now use the jog functionality to move the machine into position to take the necessary measurement. Now that our tool is physically on the edge of the part, we're going to use the set work coordinate function to write to the work coordinate system. In this case, we're writing to G54. By pressing the set work coordinate button, you will now notice that the system automatically calculates that I'm 100 thou off of the edge of the part. This is due to the fact that it is automatically taking into account the diameter of the tool that it's physically touching. We're trying to establish the center line of the spindle, and the center line of the spindle is still off of the edge by 100 thou. Now that the x-axis offset has been set, we must set the Y. Select the vertical soft key for the Y, and now we're going to update the screen to the appropriate location by using the measure plus or minus function. Here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to move the tool into position. Once into position, we're going to use the set work coordinate function. Now that we're in position, we're going to use the set work coordinate button to physically set the y axis offset. 